everyone, this is Sue. I have a couple more journals to share. And uh, one is a little bit, it's got three signatures. Well, they, I think they both, no, this one has two signatures, but this one's a little bit bigger. So I think we'll do this one first. Uh, this has a, a velvet spine, and I sewed my signatures in a little bit, a little bit different this time, so the binding goes horizontal instead of vertical. Uh, has this elastic band closure, which you can open up if you need to make it b expand it to be bigger if your journal grows. It's made out of an old book, and I have a layered image with some music paper underneath it and this little swirly glittery trim on the edge and then it is there is some sewing around the, the image and this is uh, kind of from the original book it has this fabric across the kind of the binding again this is uh, from one of my printables little pocket there this fabric tab fabric layered pocket and this is just another one of those little I'll put the printable for this I'll insert it here you know so in case you're interested in you can I kind of layered them on some paper and sewed around the edges and put it on this little piece of paper to fit inside this pocket. And the pages are copy dyed. This one has lines. This is another one of the images on the journal page inside this pocket with lace and fabric and lace on the edge. This, uh, this is a. Uh, Okay, wait. Oh, that must be glued on there. I thought that was. A... Hang on. I guess this is glued on. It's kind of a side pocket. Goes into the pocket. And this is a little journal card. A little fabric pocket with a butterfly. It's, it's an envelope, so it flips out. It has this kind of aged piece of paper in it with the fabric tuck spot down there. Some fabric here so when you protects the paper when you put things in and out. This is a pocket here. It's little different layers of pages in there. It's on a book page. This is a journal card tucked under the flap of the envelope. Some graph paper. A little journal card in here with kind of a scallop cut edge and a fabric pocket. This is the printable page. And this is a, like a stationery. I covered up the initial on there with some fabric. This is a little layered flower of a little journal card sewn around the edges in that pocket. This is a bag, uh, some lace, kind of tore it, made some collars. And it's just this journal spot tucks in there in the bag. The bag is aged, coffee dyed. This is the back of the bag. It has a layered fabric pocket. It says dream. It's some sequins there and another journal spot. This is another envelope with some embellishments and some crocheted lace. Has a place to tuck things, some Monopoly money stuck in this fabric band on this page. This page is a dyed kind of a orangish color. This is the other side of the bag, it has nothing in it, but it's got some fabric on it, like a collar. This is a journal page, it tucks in this little fabric pocket. This is love. It's another journal spot. Lots of places to write. So chandelier printed on that page. This is another envelope that flips out. Has some place to tuck things in the corner tuck pocket there. You can tuck things under here. It's 
some more pages to write on. This is the second signature, some vintage wallpaper. This is that kind of a vintage wallpaper printed page. Another little journal page tucked under this punched cardstock with some lace on the edge. It's kind of a coloring page. The fabric pocket slips out as a place to put things. And some. This one isn't overly embellished when I do a lot of embellishing and journal cards and pockets and stuff that kind of makes the price go up so sometimes I just like to have them be a little bit more affordable and people can add their own things. This is some glittery wrapping paper. I aged it. A little fabric tie on this uh, ledger paper. Roses stationery page. A little fabric tab and some lace. Another little journal card inside this glitter pocket. It's got a sheer this flips out, has a pocket here for tucking things in. This is just a piece of quilted. This is a paper clip with the blue velvet just tied on for a tab. This journal card just sewn around the edges. Kind of a sand dollar on there. Or a sundial. This is another journal page. The glitter wrapping paper. Two fan. True, true friend. This is some graph paper aged. Some butterfly stationery sheet music paper. The other side of the coloring paper it has a pocket. And then this is the wallpaper again. And then this is a it's kind of a playing card. I thought it was really neat. It has a little I'll put this ticket in here. It has the, like when you went to the library and checked the book out, so I just left that in there. And she matches the front lady, so I'll just stick her in here. She can peek out like that. And that's the back of the book. And put our closure back on. Kind of sits down there. And bottom of the book like that. So that's that one. This one is a little bit bigger book. Another, it's another old book. The binding goes horizontal. Um, when I put the I bound the book like this, you have to put all three signatures in at the same time. Then you go like if I start in the middle of this one, I go out, and then I go into this one. And I think I went down to this one, and then over to this one, and then down. And you kind of have to keep <laughs> going, you know, just back and forth until you get all the way down the book. So it's kind of fun. This has a little glittery sequence flower inside this big pin. And then when you want to expand your book, you can unpin it. Otherwise, I just, it's kind of almost like some sorry decorative fabric. Very pretty. Um, it has some fabric on, on, on the spine. Uh, it has a little sheer pocket here with this journal card inside. Isn't this pretty? This is part of the book. I thought that was really pretty. It has a printed bird page with this tab that matches the pocket here. Another flab flabic. <laughs> fabric pocket, the journal card and a fabric tab and some little trim on there and this kind of uh, opens up so you can uh, write inside there. It has a little tuck spot up here with some Monopoly money. It's kind of cute. You can write on the back of that. It's another just a uh, book page just in there. Another Monopoly money in this fabric pocket. This is a printed page. This is a this sequence trim tab matches this pocket. There's a little journal card in there. Stamping on the pages. This envelope flips out and you can put things in there. And I also underneath the underneath the uh, flap you can tuck things under there. And this is pretty lady on there. Another tuck spot here. It's 
kind of some pretty trim on there. That tab matches that. This is a collage page just printed. It's printed on the page. Some stamping. I mean, you in this pocket here. This is a printed page. This will kind of be what my wallpaper pages will look like if I get them in my store. Another journal card. Another fabric, layered fabric pocket, and some trim here. This is another uh, paper backed uh, journal card. Aged pages says blessings. Lots of room to write. Add your own fun things. This is the other side of the collage page. Vintage fabric with a pocket and some stenciling there. It's kind of a spatter of some pink on there. This is wrapped around for a tab. It's a fabric tab on here. This happened to have a Christmas thing on, so I put a I just I wanted to use that page so you can have it be a band there. This is a pocket and a tuck spot behind it, some craft paper. This is a recipe card in these two pockets here. It has a rose on it. It's another printed page. Printed page I made. This is a journal card, paper backed. Kind of ripped around the edges, sewn around the edges, fabric tab. This is an envelope. It's got a fabric pocket here and some bling, and then some more bling, and it just folds down so you can write on it. You know, you could also add something that would peek through your window if you want. This is some sheet music. This is a flip up. More printed pages. This is a pocket with a little button card with blue J bluebird on it and some vintage fabric um, embellishing the pocket and then this little journal page tucks down behind there. It says dream printed on there. It's another fabric pocket with some bling and just different scraps on there. Another journal card in there says hope there. Tucks inside the pocket. This is a, you know, I stamped that, stamped that pretty good on there. It's kind of surprised. I got some new ink, so it actually worked. Sometimes it's hard to stamp those bigger stamps. I painted some white on the edge just to give it some uh, dimension. There's a fabric tab on there, a little bit of scrap of fabric on that page. Up here is some more fabric. This is my Sonin signature. And another journal card and some fabric. You know, you can always pin a little bulb pin of a charm that can hang off of there because it's not glued all the way down. So a little fabric up here that flips up for writing underneath. Some bling here. Some fabric. Fabric and fabric pockets and journal cards and bling and fabric tabs. It's another rose page and she's printed on there. It's just so pretty. This is a, another stationary page tucks underneath that little tuck spots on here. And this is a napkin decoupaged on the page, sewn around the edges. It was some packing paper, I think, so it's real, it feels really cool. And this is another one of the stationary pages. This is some stamping. This flips up, it has some roughly netting on the bottom with some bling in this wallpaper pocket. Pretty paper. This is a netting pocket with a couple of different journal spots inside with this. I made this flower out of some fabric and laces and satin bow and a little blue emb embroidered flower on there. It's a bird little branch in her mouth. These are little journal pages with tuck spots and little journal cards tucked inside. This is another printed page I created. This envelope has a belly band here and a bow tied on and some scrap fabric and 
some more scraps on here and a place to put things. Another journal spot here. This is one of these aqua and brown pages. Just tucks into the envelope flap so nice. This is a twisted, I like both sides of the paper so it's twisted. No wait, that's fabric on this paper. Then I sewed it on, then I twisted it. So I wanted to see both sides and I glued it down and it's a belly band. And this is painted on the back. So it's on this tracing paper. So there's a pocket on this side. This dream, another little, little fabric band up here with a little sequence trim. Lots of little sequence trim and fabric trims and fabric tabs up here. I wanted some, I wanted some trim sticking out the top. So I kind of frayed it so it would stick out the top. Here's another tracing paper pocket with this old book page inside with the painted over the words so you can journal on there. Write on it or, you know, it's a belly band. You could tuck pictures under there. Lots of space to add your own fun things. The other side of the printed page, pretty flower, a little tuck spot, just little corner corner pockets and fabric tabs. This is another um, old book pocket with this decoupage image and it flips out and it has a pocket in here with another journal card inside assembling and fabric assembling here. This is another envelope, flips out, has a journal page inside with some stamping, some blessings it says here. And this tucks underneath this flap, this is the flap of the envelope and up here you can tuck, you can tuck something or hang something from this belly band here too. This is pretty pocket with some lace and trim down here and paper backed cardstock, another place to hang things on the belly band, and then this is one of those transparent pockets with the bicycle decoupage on it, and it has a little journal spot inside just for writing. Some little bling on it there that goes inside the pocket, like that. And then this is the back, this is friendship, and that's the back of the book. We'll take our closure and slip it on. I just love that. I don't know what that is. It's called um, The Best Known Novels of George Eliot, Modern Library. So those are the two journals that I have for you today. And again, I thank you for watching. These two journals are also in my Etsy store, so if you want to check out the links below, it'll take you to the store and you can um, see, you can read more about them and the details of them. And um, Yeah, so thank you. Bye now.